Hello. Today we're going to look at two functions that come in very necessary out on the production floor or in any environment that you're working with robotics. And this is how to simulate an input, which is a signal coming into the controller from an external device, and how to operate an output all from the inputs and outputs menu. It's very simple and it's very short and very easy. Let's look at it. The first thing you do is go to your ABB main menu here. Once you tap ABB, it will bring down your main menu. And on your main menu, you choose Inputs and Outputs. From your Inputs and Outputs screen, it will probably come up blank the first time you go into it. So you'll have to use the View button in the bottom right-hand corner to sort out or look at what you want to look at. So I hit View, and I have a lot of different options that I can choose from here. We're talking about simulating inputs and actually switching the state of an output from the controller. So I'm going to choose Inputs first. I chose digital inputs and it brings up a list of all the digital inputs on the system. Now keep in mind you'll have a lot more inputs than this because this is a virtual system. But all inputs are all listed with the exception of three lists on the ABB controller. All are in alphabetical order. So you scroll up or down until you find the input that you want to simulate. When you find the input, in this case I'm going to simulate input 1. I simply tap input 1 and highlight it. And I'll notice my toolbar becomes active with three different options down here. Simulate, 1, and 0. Now remember, it. when I simulate an input, I am not physically changing the state of that input. I'm basically tricking the controller into thinking that input is on or off. To simulate it, all I have to do is hit the Simulate and choose the state that I want it to be simulated. If I hit 1, now my controller believes that that input is physically on. If I hit 0, my controller believes the input is physically off. Now, important to remember about the simulation of inputs. If I simulate this input 1 or high or on, then this simulation will remain. A simulation does not go away unless I restore the system, do a B-start that takes me back before when the simulation was created, if that's the case. When I reboot the controller, the simulation will remain, but it would default to a state of zero. So keep in mind, if you simulate a signal, you will have to return and remove that simulation at some point in time. So now my controller thinks the signal is high. So if I had some type of sensor on a tool, and my tool was in a device, in a fixture or a structure, and maybe that sensor went bad, and I couldn't move the robot, it wasn't letting me move it out of that particular device, then I could go simulate that particular input, and in some cases that will allow me to move the robot out of that device, so I can replace that sensor, and then come back and remove the simulation. Next, let's look at how to change the state of an output, or how to switch an output. I'm going to go back to the ABB menu, and back into my inputs and outputs. I could have stayed on the same screen, but I'm just going through the full process here. I hit inputs and outputs, and I select what particular signal that I want to work with or manipulate. In this case, it's a digital output. So I select digital outputs, and it will show me a list of all the outputs that are configured on this system. Now this list will also be in alphabetical order, so I scroll up or scroll down on the list until I find the particular output that I want to manipulate here. Then I simply tap that output and highlight it, and I'll notice that I have the option here to simulate it or to physically change the state. If I simulate it, then I'm just telling the controller that this is low or high, or 1 or 0, and it will not physically change the state. But if I hit the 1, then I have physically changed the state of that output. If that output was a gripper or some type of tool or device, then I actuated that device by hitting 1. And if I hit 0, then I've turned that device back off. Just remember, if you simulate an output or an input, that you will have to return at some point in time and remove that simulation. If you don't remove that simulation, it will remain. As I go back here, I've removed the simulation, but if I simulate that signal and even close out my menus, I could reboot the controller, whatever is necessary. But when I go back in, I will see that under my simulated signals, option here at the bottom of my view list that my simulated signals will appear there. And I can remove that simulation from there just by clicking remove simulation. And then when I go back to this list it will be gone. So simulating an input may be something necessary to get the robot out of a tough or 
tight spot if you have a malfunction on your tool or on another device that the robot's working with. But just remember the simulation doesn't go away. When you reboot the controller, the simulation will default to a state of zero, so you'll have to manually really remove that simulation at some point in time. Well, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll be producing many more robotics videos coming up very shortly. For now, Serious Survivor, out.